Well, good day, Tubes. How she hanging? Pretty good here. So I am subscribed to the uh, Antique Power uh, magazine. I think it comes from the States. Oh, it says London, Ontario there. I don't think it's local to me anyways, but uh, I haven't opened it yet. I figured we'd try, uh, you know, do a little video about uh, opening up a new magazine and see what is in the magazine for this this month around. So I get it every two months, I think, this one. And that's pretty good. Ooh, look at that thing. Twin City. What the heck is that even? That's definitely something. Something different. Twin City. So I know the one episode edition, I should say, of this, we uh, had a story about a John Deere AR. And uh, this one, uh, I don't know if it's anything to do with John Deere in this one or not. So. Um, if there's something interesting to read, I'll stop and read it with you, but we'll likely just kind of keep looking through here. See what, uh, look at the pictures and stuff. Ooh, look at that. What is that? That looks like an old 2N. I'm trying to find where the story of this one starts. Well, something different there. Um, well, I don't know. Do, 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 do. No, I don't think that's that one. This is, uh, sending letters to the editor, I guess. So, anyways. It looks like, well, I don't know. It's got a distributor on it, too, but it's got... It's got a side mount distributor. Unless I've changed it and put an 8 in I don't know. I don't know. Weird. Anyways, we'll keep going. <laughs> John Deere Tractor, Waterloo, Iowa, USA. Wow, look at the look at the no flat tires on this thing. Let's see if we can get these in here for a closer closer look. Holy! Talk about an aggressive tread pattern. Well, anyways, yeah, these are just letters letter to the editors. I don't. Uh, well, I'll read these myself, but I won't kind of get into them. We'll just look at the the pictures more than anything. Some of the old. Old pictures and stuff. It's kind of cool, eh? The old ads. Cock shut farm implements and equipment. That's neat. I think I might have just used the page. Yeah, it's the old dealerships and stuff, I guess. Wow, that's there's an old girl. Woo wee! Better roads, reliable trucks, and trailers open up new possibilities for tractor dealers. They have better outreach to their customers. I gotta look at uh, look at this one a bit closer too. Look at that old thing, holy primitive, eh? A little better than horse and buggy, I guess, but uh, holy jumping! Pretty cool. Repair shops. Yeah. Amazing what they did with what they had back then, you know. Photos from the attic. He's got a plow, walk behind plow. It's supposed to be hooked to a horse, hooked to the tractor, and someone's driving the tractor. <laughs> Holy jumping. Now let's read what this is about here. Let's get you a look at the picture here first. So, see, there's a guy, if I can get him driving the tractor, and he's holding the Tradeer Life onto the plow. Well, what does it say here? This old snapshot has lain around, lane around my files I don't think that's right right laying around shouldn't be laid around been around maybe anyways my old files for a while uh, it has no information with it uh, so one must use imagination folks did what they could back in the day well, that's what I just said <laughs> this uh, tractor was hodgepodge of automotive parts and perhaps rear end kits to make it into a tractor the radiator could be from an old, from a truck or a real tractor, um, and the lettered Samson, the tractor was certainly doing the job. And uh, for the plum and walk behind, may have been a better deal than looking at the backside of a horse all day. <laughs> that makes sense, I guess. Well, there's some lights over here. Update your tractor to LED. Old tractors just don't look good with little lights like that in them. I don't know. I don't know, classic farm tractors. There you go. Nice. They sell books and everything in this. It's 
Well, it costs a lot of money to get your ads and stuff in here, I would think, but... Plowing up the past. Thresher machines and stuff, I guess. Huh, John Deere. Looks like a big D or something with steel wheels. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, John Deere model to you. And here's a faithful service from it. There you go. Prairie Wonderland. Some big machines. Man. Funny how back then they thought they needed huge machines. Look at us now. We have like smaller machines that do probably as more than what these things would, but these things are still running. <laughs> That's a cool thing. You know. Heart par. Oh yeah, there's some old oil poles there. Just massive. That thing's kind of cool. Unusual 1925 gray 22-40 Canadian special drum drive adds excitement to the collection. <laughs> wow. The primitive. The primitive. A freshly imported U.S. built Fordson Model F attracts a lot of attention at Odessa, Ukraine in the USSR. <laughs> Holy, and that's probably it there again, is it? No fenders on them, though. Fordson built in Leningrad, proved to be a poor copy of the Dearborn built tractors. Soviets had not perfected casting techniques and metallurgy. Metallurgy? Hmm. Wow, that's pretty neat, though. Wow. That's a neat old picture. Workers perform final fitting of STZ 15-30 tractors to the Stalingrad tractor plant. They reasonable. They were reasonable copies of the IH 15-30 gear drive tractors. Huh. Gosh, eh? Look at this thing. Oh man, that's insane. Just crazy. One headlight. Lucky you had that, probably. Back then. Six volts. Wouldn't see very much. It'd be more like for someone to see you. Big McCormick Deering. Never driven one of them before. Looks like a whole article on this. McCormick Deering. I don't really know much about them, either. Looks like a fairly beefy, heavy-duty tractor, though. Here's that one off the front. Production figures, close to 300,000 tractors were built. 1919. Wow. Hmm. It's pretty neat. Let's begin to the center of the book. Pretty done up. Nice. Look at how they cover the probably the rockers in there. Or the push rods or something in there. I don't know what's actually in there. It might actually look right into the engine in there. You might look right into the crankshaft and stuff. Yeah, because over here is the push rods, probably. <laughs> wow. Engine, own make vertical 16 valve four cylinder, five uh, times seven and a half inch bore and stroke. Also, it's a five inch bore and a seven and a half inch stroke, running at 650 RPM. Ignition was KW high tension magneto with impulse start. Carburetor, Kingston Single Bowl Wilcox Bennett Carburetor Company, centrifugal air cleaner. Governor, own make flyball or flyball type. Engine lubrication splash and 11 feed Detroit lubricating lubricator co mechanical force feed. Transmission, own make two forward speeds and two. two two forward speeds and two and two three quarter miles an hour. That makes sense to me. I would have thought they would have been uh, two forward speeds and one reverse, but anyways. Belt pulley, 17 inch diameter, eight inch face, 528 RPM. The wheels, rear, 54 inch diameter, 14 inch tread. Front was 36, so three feet by seven inch tread. So these are, oh gee, sorry, these are three feet. <laughs> Holy cow. Capacity, four plows. Dimensions, uh, 179 inch length, 70 inch width, 72 inch height, 7,800 pound weight. 
Holy crap, that's a lot of weight. 108 inch wheelbase, 16 and a half foot running turning radius. Holy crap, <laughs> that's a lot. Pretty good for a big old tractor though. That's pretty neat. Never heard of them before. It's definitely something different. So now we're getting to more of the ads and stuff back in here. Egg Museum auction. Auction, auction. All the ads and tires. Old style, new style. Happy holidays. Ooh, general purpose John Deere. I also do John Deere. 1937 John Deere Model BN found its niche in the sugar beet fields in Montana. Tall, skinny tires on them. I've seen a few of them. We're going to be in a tractor club. I want my own tractor to drive. Well, that makes sense. That's why I've got like six of them. I only drive my own, though. Nobody wants to drive them for me. I don't know why. That's pretty cool, though. It's in good shape. I like these ones with the embossments on the back of the axles stamped into it like that. It's kind of cool. One single front tire though. Ooh, I wonder how stable that is. A lot of reading there, but we'll, you know, look at the pictures. And the picture looker. Vintage trucks. Yeah, there's some some old books and stuff. Ferguson TE20 in detail. 60 bucks. Holy crap. Ford tractors, there you go. How to restore Ford tractor N series and later tractors, 1939 to 62. There you go. I might even potentially have that book. My uh, stepdad gave me quite a few books. Ooh, actually, there was something else. What was that? Century of Ford and New Holland farm equipment. A guide to Ford, Fordson, and the New Holland tractors. Well, that's cool. Willie's track or sorry, Wally's tractor hats. <laughs> hey, Wall, Wally. So the rest of this will be well. That's looking up stuff. And the rest of this will be uh, some parts. And uh, then there's a bit of a classified section. So we'll read through that. 1959 John Deere W. Oh, that's too big. I'm not gonna read that one. Ooh, what's that one here? 1953 Golden Jubilee serial number blah 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 actual hours 617 all original tires ugh, all red and gray on fenders and wheels painted 2018 hood and grill original paint I am the second owner and tractor runs good as it looks additional pictures upon request $9,800 holy crap but you're way 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 too high on that I don't care how good the paint looks you're not going to get that for it uh, when you say original tires it's like okay well it's probably going to need tires now even though they might be good, put air in them. You'll see how bad they are. <laughs> I guarantee it. Been there, done that, and I know exactly how that works. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Farmall Super A. One John Deere drag plow. Ooh, I need that one. One, two, bottom, 14 inch John Deere drag plow. One, five, bottom, 16 inch international. Uh, no, it's too big. Uh, <laughs> I need a drag plow though for the AR. Sort of been looking, but 1943 Ford 9-inch tractor, 99% complete, absolutely original engine, engine stuck, oh, bad, bad tires, a great builder or parts tractor, 750 bucks, that's probably a little better, you probably still won't even get that for it, though, when, they, when you say engine stuck, well, you're screwed, scrap weight right there, pretty much, uh, Model T, uh, Massey Harris Diesel, you read the Jubilee. You even got a part or a picture for the Jubilee. I wonder how much that cost them. Whew. ACD 10 parts, some parts for case, antique tractors for sale. Farmall, regular Ellis Chalmers, Massey Ferguson, Avery Co op. That's a rare one. Uh, Co op 2, W Series Internationals, Gibson, Case, Cubs, and more. Plus discs and plows. Southern Illinois. New old stock John Deere bearings for old tractors and machinery. Also new sleeves and pistons for JD8020. Nice. Tillage disc, vintage snowblower, cast iron Kohler. I don't know what that. <laughs> Next page, Farmall. 1953, question mark, John Deere W40W. 
Runs good, strong hydraulic lift, PTO good tires, trade for Ford 8N with plow and hydraulic lift with a good engine contact date. Ooh, well, you know what, I could almost help him with that, but too bad. He lives in uh, South Carolina, I think. This is all be U.S. down here anyway, so these all heads. The co-op tractor, five Oliver Model 60 tractors. Sounds like it's raining outside. Oliver, 554. Fords, 1939, 9N. Ooh, that's an old one. Uh, don't see many of those anymore, that's for sure. Last column over there, Alice Chalmer, blah, 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 restored, Ferguson, uh, Minneapolis Moline, new 242-inch spring trip wheel horse snowblade. Uh, Farmall H, car tractor hauler, 1922 Farmall Super C, Rims, wheels, hubs, many sizes, contact, blah, blah, blah. JDBO, 1941 JD, John Deere B, 1944, 1948 John Deere B, okay, 41, 48, uh, 45 John Deere H, 41 case V, or 5 maybe, F all fully restored and new rubber pictures upon request. Wow. Next page. We'll just read through this quick here. International Diesel B275 JDMC six-way blade tool. Bar runs good. Fine. Final drive issue. 25. Ooh, that's expensive. <laughs> Pair of 20-year-old six-loop. Ooh, six-loop. 11 by... Oh, I need 12 by 28. This is the exact pair of 20-year-old. New... Some new old stock, six loop, eleven by twenty-eight inch. I need the twelve by twenty-eight inch for that's for the eight hundred. Rear rims never used. Three hundred twenty-five. Ooh, that's enough too. Ford eight N tractor, six cylinder funk conversion. Oh, really? Why'd you put a six cylinder? That's just insulting. Fifty horsepower govern three speed Sherman. Three speed Sherman. Unique factory built hydraulic assist. Three point inch lift. Good rubber. Paint bumpers, grill guard, uh, wheel weights, 5,900. Uh, restored antique garden tractors, uh, 1952 Farmall M. Two pistons and rods believed to be heart par. Two 15-inch new, new steel spoke wheels for an unstyled John Deere A tractor. 47 Farmall International T9 Crawler. 63 Ford 2000 New Idea MTD Ear Corn Picker <laughs> Alice Chalmers Generator Economy 12 Horsepower Gibson Tug Farmall Super C Shield Bantam Model T30 I don't even know what that is uh, 36 Case RC on Steel 2019 29 Rumley Do all Conventionals kind of glare on here. I can't see it. 14,000. Eh, I don't think I need that. <laughs> two John Deere A, one John Deere B, and two uh, IHM all repainted and parade ready. Just need a wash. Oh, it's been sitting in this drive shed probably. Alice Chalmers. I have many Fords and parts. 1948 custom model B. Hercules Z XB engine. International Farmall 1966 B10 new tires can't see for the glare. Professional rebuilt Wico Wico sorry uh, Magneto is used on. I can't see it. Pull tight plows one two and three and four bottom. I need a three bottom I think for the for the AR. It might do a four but you'd have to probably be first gear. Second gear's not much faster anyways. But <laughs> rope trip and hydraulic. I have new. Sh Shins? Landslides and points, plows, okay. 1926, white, witty maybe, 2.5 horsepower in early 1900s. Calkings Adventure Rock Crusher. That's cool. Two John Deere's, number 999 corn planters to restore, 1960, Oliver 440. Olivers, 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 Alice Chalmers K. On tracks. Hmm. 
should be one more page of these, I think. They must make a fair bit of money. Oh, just a little bit here. 1968 David Brown 1200 diesel tractor with 1969 David Brown 1942 cock shut. Massey Harris pace. Pacemaker Orchard. Uh, Messy Harris 25 style, non style, non running. 3.44 special, Massey Harris 44 re RC rebuilt, short block diesel. Huh. Caterpillars 2 RD. Okay, no. Wanted. Any quick hitch two point equipment for Farm All 200? PTO from a Cormac Deering W40 gas tractor. This is all wanted stuff. Part for a 39 McCormick Deering, Wallace Cub Tractor, Corn Binder, in usable condition, looking for front wheel scrapers and brackets for farm all. Robin manifold and carved to fit John Deere D. Huh. Pair of steel drive wheels for Rumley do all reversible type cutoff steel front wheel. Complete Alice Chalmers model, blah blah blah, every to front louvered panel diesel only for all or 66 or 77. Well, there you go. So there's some commercial classified battery boxes, step up and toolboxes. It's kind of like the one on the 800, is like under the fender y kind of thing. Is your water pump obsolete? Let me rebuild it. That'd be expensive, I bet. Oh, even Harbor Freight got one in there. Look at all their stuff. That's pretty cool. All right, well, I don't think there's a whole lot left here. It's just ads and stuff. Cars repairs. Look at the one arm loader on this thing. That's kind of cool. Huh. Actually, on the Facebook Marketplace, I've seen a Ford 800 like the one I got here with a one arm loader on it. I'm like, oh man, I wish I would have waited a little longer. I would have probably picked up that. <laughs> it would have been pretty cool. One arm loader. Oh, come on. 79.82, yeah, so there's a page in there somewhere. There it is. Oh, what are we doing here? Good reef. They really want intent moving ahead. With modern battery technology. Oh, boy. Yeah, what are we going to do when we can't get batteries for these old tractors anymore because all they have are these stupid lithium batteries. All tractors great and small. Well, there we go. That's the Antique Power Magazine. That was a pretty good one. And uh, yeah, I get that. Uh, this is January, February 2021, so we'll get a March and April, I guess, and then May and June and July and on, you know, on and on, right? So, but anyways, there we go. That's it for today. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day.